Howdy folks and welcome to the FF at Silverstone National. This is my home circuit and i uh, got to say I quite like it even though I'm probably shocking at it. So let's get on with the fast lap. Right then, fast lap done and dusted, and let me show you the rules tab. Always have a look at the rules tab because it'll tell you where the off-tracks are and where they are not, so you can really maximise the track limits, which is always important for uh, lap time. To get that lap time lower, use more of the circuit. Uh, fixed setup, we're, well, we're not. This isn't a fixed setup series. I do apologise, but we are using the iRacing Silverstone 2019 National setup, although I did reduce the brake bias down to 56.5 again, so 58 seems a little bit high for me. Um, but yeah, try it out, see what happens, and go from there. Track temp at 93 Fahrenheit and a moderate usage of 44% is what I always use for these guides. Now the lap I'm actually going to show you is probably behind my head. So let's get rid of my head. It is all the way down here. Lap, 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 lap 50. There's a cheeky little rascal. So our fastest lap is, where is it? There it goes, a 101.3. You can see there... All of these laps are in the 101s, minus a few spins that I had, obviously, but they're, they vary from a high 101 to a low, and it all depends on one particular corner and getting a good exit out of it, which I will explain. But you can see there, uh, 103 there, mid 10, mid 106 sort of things there down there. And I want to show you this lap because I actually pitted on lap 45 and got a full tank. So this being sort of five laps into a stint, uh, the, you know, the fuel tank's a little bit heavier, so it's a little bit more applicable for a race time, I think. Um, but you can see there, they're still mid, mid high one sort of thing, and then nipping into just under uh, 101.4, which is quite nice to be honest. I think that's a decent lap ish pace that I can achieve. Um, what else do I show you as well? Uh, split times is one thing I show you right here. You can see the split times. You see my optimum is actually a 101. Um, so I've definitely got a bit more time to find. But yeah, those are my split times if you want to focus down on a certain sector. And above my head will be the Discord where the OLAP, BLAP, Telemetry, Replay file will all be in there for you. And also, I am using Garage 61 for the rest of the season. So you can see my telemetry on there. You can use Garage 61 as a, a sort of a telemetry uh, compare my lap time with yours so it can be quite useful so let us know if you do like it and we'll keep using it for the track guides going forward if not then um yeah i won't use it <laughs> so yeah one thing i do want to mention if you look at the results page you can see there all of our lap times with uh with andy and steve there who you may recognize from the stream who i race with normally quite often and uh, they're all within uh weirdly actually for the second time in the thing of the history so mr bootland did beat me on the fastest lap uh, don't tell him that because his ego is already big enough. But yeah, congratulations to Booty. He beat me on the fastest lap. So really, I should show you his lap. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're all within maybe two and a half tenths of each other. So the the racing here is going to be incredibly close between sort of, uh, you know, maybe five, six K guys will only be a few tenths quicker than someone like me, for example. So the lap time should be quite close. Now that is good for racing, but it also encourages people to do riskier moves so just be cautious of that when you go into this race make sure that you uh you, you survive and see the checker flag because that's the most important thing but there could be some optimistic moves in this race so that's my warning there so just be cautious uh otherwise i think that's not be waffling so let's crack on with the guy Right then, Silverstone, this little crafty place is my home circuit. So fingers crossed we have a good lap around here. But we are looking at the old start-finish circuit straight, or the GT start-finish straight. So, uh, yeah, a little weird, not the F1 one. But basically, halfway between the 100 and the 50 board, we want to dab on the brakes. And also, you want to get all over this curve. I'm going to pause it here. You want to put your front right tyre over that green. You see on the overhead camera there, I do miss it. And that pushed me out wide and doesn't enable me to get on full throttle as early as I wish. So make sure you get all the way over that curve. Absolutely straddle it. You'll be golden. 
be careful the off-track on exit as well. Just coming into the first sort of Magnus and Beckett section, now use all of the entry curb here on the right-hand side, cut the corner, and then as you see the straight line to the exit of the curb, break on that straight line. Use a little bit of the red stuff as well, that's absolutely fine. Easy through here, try not to carry too much speed into the corner, you want to get the corner turned and then get on full power. So just the dirt ends on there on apex, get on full power. You can run all the way out wide, but over that white line is another off-track, so be cautious. But to me, you're just elongating the circuit. Really, you want to get down this straight as fast as you can, because that is the most important corner to get right on the circuit, because it, it loses you so much time if you run so far wide. But anyway, coming down to, uh, who is this, Brooklands? Oh, I think it's Brooklands. Anyway, just before the 50 meter mark, I want to break and turn into the apex. We want to hug this curb as best we can. Be careful of the off-track there on the green sort of concrete stuff there it's a weird off track it's stupid it's harsh i don't like it but it's there so be cautious coming into the last corner now you want to hug this curb as well and basically you see the red little markers on the inside there's one there there's one there and also when you get to this next one so the fourth one in line you want to start thinking about getting on full power i go down the first gear around there just to get the rotation a bit of engine braking try and get that kick out of the corner you can use all that exit curb on the left but again if you don't need it you don't need it i suppose technically this is the last corner it's completely flat out and completely pointless but yeah could be interesting going through the two wide there and the line is actually quite early it's a very short circuit if i'm honest this is what probably the uh, the ff is probably made of to be honest it's short little layouts like this but that's us in a 101 318 but yeah 101 418 i say no, did i say three i must be thinking of the next sentence anyway my fastest lap was a three but yeah i couldn't able to do that again so yeah we'll show you the second ish fastest lap but yeah mid to sort of mid to high 101s is where i think i'm at to be honest and, and as mentioned in the intro just be cautious around here i think people are going to be looking for silly little dive moves and there could be some carnage anyway so make sure you see the checkered flag otherwise if this video did help you out don't forget to like and subscribe we love youtube stuff i will catch you on the next one